guys, Christopher from Java Richards Fishing here, and I'm going to show you guys the updated version of our frog box. And we have a video on YouTube currently, and it's just the frog box unboxing of our Christian's favorite pack box, which is me. And um, I've gotten many more frogs since then, and I would like to show you guys them since it's a very good topic right now on YouTube, as we've been getting a lot of views on that video. So we'd like to do an update of that, show you all the other frogs that I've got, and Ethan will be talking about the frogs that he has currently with him and he doesn't have all of his but he'll talk about the ones he does so let's get all right guys it. these are my frog boxes and um and i believe in the last video i had probably 26 27 frogs and in this video i counted earlier i have 36 frogs so that's about 10 more that is 10 more frogs um this box right here is full of KBD Sexy Frogs and Blue Eye Pad Crasher or Poppin' Frogs. And this box is full of various other frogs and um, that are equally as good. But yeah, let's get into this box first and then this box. Alright, so in this box. Alright, first we're going to start off with, oh, I didn't mention there are scum frogs in here. But first we're going to start off with the Booyah Pad Crashers. This is Old Smokey. This is a, it's a clear frog with black speckles all throughout it. And um, as you can see, the hookup ratio is great. I've noticed, I ordered these off the Tackle Warehouse. And if you haven't been on to their website, check it out right now. It is very good after this video. And, um... But those ones that I've got off of there, which this is included in, have a much better hookup ratio, ratio than the ones I buy from, like, Cabela's. And, I mean, they all work equally the same, but sometimes that will help in certain situations with just getting a lucky bite or something. But, yeah, this is Old Smokey. And you really could use this one on any day because it's more of a clear, but then as soon as it's dark out, the it'll have more of a dark appearance because it's clear but as I said in the last video about the frog these legs are way too long so when you get a frog they're usually gonna be too long when you first buy it so you put it upside down like this and then you pull the legs down and wherever they go but to the tip of the frog's nose you you cut it that much off so it's about that much and you just cut off with scissors both sides and then it'd be a perfect frog so that's old smoky next um, I'm not sure the name of this one but it's pretty much just a typical frog as you can see but white has some gray spots on the back legs are white and gray um, like I said the hookup ratio on this is not as good as old smoky and I'm not sure why but they almost feel like a different material. This one feels like more thick plastic. But uh, in this, um, the eyes of this are bronze as well as this. And these are realistic, but not as much as the KVD Sexy Frogs. But also this has a good hookup ratio. And like I said, cut those legs. That will make a big difference in the appearance of the frog. But yeah, that's just, just a white one. You want to use this on more sunny days. It has a... All the fish can see is the bottom of the frog and the legs. And this has a more of a regular appearance of a typical frog. But just use this on a clear day and it should work great. Next frog. Just the brown and a light yellow with a white belly. This is another Booyah Pad Crasher. Just a regular bronze-eyed frog um, legs are brown hookup ratio is pretty good on this one but this is the same as this but you want to use this on like a more medium day I would say because the belly is not just white it has yellow on it which is a darker yellow it's more of a gold and it starts to fade so this frog would be good to use while it's clear outside or like about to get more of a gloomy like appearance this is it just a brown and bronze frog um there's not much of these 
but like this one this is a really typical frog where i'm from it's a, a color of most bullfrogs and this though this would work really great on more dirty water because the stomach appearance is all brown same as the other bronze eyed brown legs same it actually the same as all the other ones just different color for different conditions now this is just a bullfrog it's like more of a leopard frog actually and we have a lot of these where i'm from in michigan and this catches most of my fish this is the most fish uh i've caught on a frog ever is on this bait because stomach isn't just white it's more of like a yellow greenish and this would work really great for any condition really um, hookup ratio is good, green legs, and as you can see, <coughs> I cut this, excuse me, I cut this one, legs right at the nose, like I said, doesn't go much past at all, even if, and yeah, so, same thing, brown side, we got pack dress here. Another bullfrog, but this one has a white belly with yellow and uh, green legs. Bronze eyed, same thing, same exact thing as this one, but more of a clear day, just different different appearance, different day, just depends on the weather. Same thing for those. Now this, black and blue, so we have pack crasher still. And this one does not have bronze eyes. This one has like a blue outer edge of the eyes, black in the middle, and black belly. It's just all black. But the fish really like to see these blue legs and darker colors because they can see the silhouette of the frog up when they're looking up at the water on like more of a a darker appearance of water and this would work really great and this is what you would want to use on those darker days this frog is more of a shad colored frog almost it's, it's I'm, I believe it's called the aqua, but it has almost it has gills on the side, bronze eyed. Uh, it's not even a white belly. It has orange up here, and it's like silver. Legs are white, black, and green. And this would work on a more clear day, and this would be the same thing as all of them. Hookup ratio on this, I ordered this off of Tackle Warehouse, is really great, as well as the black one. <coughs> Sorry, there are now the Booyah Poppin' Frogs. Same thing as a regular frog, but just different approach, I guess you could say. Like for a regular frog, like the uh, Booyah Pad Crushers, you do a technique called walking the dog. I'm sure many know, but if you don't, it's just you have your rod, which is a more usually more stiff rod for frogging, and you twist it facing the water down, which is called walking to the dog. So the uh, frog has an appearance and it's going forward, but then it twitches this way and floats a little, twitches back, and then it just keeps doing that in the, until a fish comes up on it and blows up. And also, when you're fishing with a frog and you have a bite, the fish will come up and grab the frog, but you don't want to set the hook right away because then you'll rip it out of its mouth. The fish don't close their mouths right away, so you wait about couple seconds for it to take it underwater and then you set the hook and you'll have a for sure catch hopefully and that will be a better outcome than going right away and send the hook but yeah this is uh this is the aqua this one was like a shad but this is the aqua popping frog it just has a different appearance and more and more it makes more like splashes in the water and you can just reel this really it has a different approach Oh, I almost forgot. This is the last pad crasher. I forgot about this. Sorry. And um, it's just a red and black. Same thing as the black one. Just a black belly, bronze eyed, yellow and black legs. Great hookup ratio. And I got a majority of these from Cabela's. Go to your local fishing store. I'm sure they have some of these. But that is the red one. And that would work really great for a darker day. Same thing with this. Darker day. Yellow back, yellow and black legs, good hookup ratio, and it is a popping, just like the aqua. And 
like I said, different approach, different day, different weather conditions, use that. Darker. Same thing as the last one, just pretty much opposite patterns. Um, this is another popping booyah frog, bronze eye. Uh, yellow and black legs and yellow belly, so clear day. And you should be able to catch many fish on this if you know how to use it right. And those are all of the pad crashers of right now. And I'm sure I can get more. Like this color, I need just a regular pad crasher. This color and this color. Then I'm going to try to get all of them in the popping frog. But for now, I have every single color, but just not all the same. Not all pad crashers. I just have every single color that Booyah makes for their frogs. But these are all of the pad crashers and popping frogs from Booyah. Next, we have the KBD Sexy Frogs. So, this is the perch. It has a more pattern on the back. What I like about these is they're more realistic. This one has little legs on the side. And um, they have little arms, actually, not legs, sorry. But the legs on this are brown, yellow, and green. Which gives a more realistic appearance in the water. And it has red eyes with a yellow be belly and it's clear so when the sun's shining this is what you want to use it will go right through the water and you can, the fish will be able to see it great because of its clarity so that is a sexy frog from striking um this is another sexy frog i'm not sure of the name of this but i really just thought this one was cool because of the colors i thought it might work a couple times i haven't really used it yet so it's more of like a shad pattern on the side with a uh, blue back and a silver, more white belly with a little orange dot. Like I said, the arms on the side, blue, yellow, and white legs. And make sure to cut those when you use it. Next, we have just a green, more of a bullfrog, sexy frog. But like I said, these are more realistic. They have a different pattern on these than Booyah would have. Booyahs are more clear, but those are also really good. These are my two favorite frogs, maybe. Like, I like all frogs, but I like these a lot because they're, they're so realistic. They have, like, real patterns on the side. But, yeah, this is a more clear day frog to use, and that is a sexy frog. Same with this. This is pretty much the same thing. It's different pattern on the belly, and it's white with like a more salmon color. And on the side, it's black with a pattern. You can feel it. And just a green back, like a bullfrog or a leopard frog with white, I mean not white, sorry, yellow and black legs. More, use that on the more clear days for fishing. This is a black sexy frog. Is, there's not much to it, it's just black with red eyes, black legs, everything. Hookup ratio on these aren't as good as Booyah Pack Crashers in my views, but the hooks are great. And this, some of them actually come with rattle. I don't know if you can hear that, but this one actually did come with rattle. And use that on the more black, gloomy, darker days of the year for fishing, and you should be able to come out with a couple bass. <clears throat> this is the same thing as this, Not nothing really special, sexy frog, white with red eyes, white legs, hookup ratio is better on this one than that black one surprisingly, no rattle, and use this on the more clear days. This is, um, like the Booyah Pad Crasher, we have a variety of different colors and this is more of the one of the more realistic ones it's a brown yellow and white frog for around my area this is great has a little arms on the side like a more uh greenish color for the legs and a light brown and uh this would work really well for just a regular day any day and you should be able to catch fish with that has more of a chartreuse like to them, that kind of green, but yeah, same with this. 
Um, I actually looked this up. You cannot just buy these in the store anymore. Cabela's had them for a little while, and me and Ethan went to the store, and I was like, I have to get that. It's just different. It's a confetti, sexy frog. It has all sorts of different colors in it. Also, a rattle, and yellow, not a yellow belly, a white belly, but just different. I just needed this, and it would comp like help complete my collection of these frogs. You could use this on a more clear day, and it should work. Okay, This is almost like Old Smokey from the Booyah Pad Crushers. It's a clear frog with black speckles, red eyes, but the belly is silver and has silver arms and more yellow up top and it has green and white legs, but this would work on a more darker, gloomy day. So these are all KVD Sexy Frogs. You can get these at your store. These are more expensive than the Booyah Pack Crashers. The Pack Crashers at Cabela is around to about like $6. And these are about 8 but they're worth it. I like them a lot, and these are all sexy frogs. All right, box number two is smaller, so we'll go a little bit quicker. All right, so in this box, uh, I decided to put the scum frogs that were in the other box into here, so I'll talk about those in here. This is a Bobby's frog, and I found this at a local store, fishing store that I go to. Its hookup ratio is so great, I just had to get it. And um, they make Bobby's popping frogs. I don't know if you've ever saw them. But they're a more weird looking frog, and this one happened to come with a trailer. And this comes in handy a lot of times when the fish just come up, miss it right from behind. But this would definitely catch the fish, and it's a better hookup ratio as it's free swimming. And the legs are red, green, and chartreuse. So that's that. Next is just your typical scum frog. This is one of my first frogs, and it's just a chartreuse green, neon green color with green legs and just green. And that is the scum frog. This is South Southern uh, Championship Scum Frog, popping frog. And these frogs are different as they're shaped with a little arch in their back and You'd think they were cheaper and wouldn't catch more fish, which is kind of true, but I still trust these. Like, it doesn't have as good as hookup ratio, but it definitely gets the job done. And this is a popping frog, just like the Booyah popping frogs. Just different approach, and darker days, lighter days. These are one of my favorite frogs also, as they are so realistic. Um, this is a live target frog. The arms stick out. Just everything is so real on this. And the legs happen to be brown and yellow with a yellow belly with in yellow. Yellow and white, sorry. And a green back. Um, this is a typical Michigan frog right here. You can catch fish on this all day long and the hookup ratio is wonderful. This you could use pretty much every single day. I was more disappointed in this when I bought it because I thought it was going to be something big. But um, this is the Lunker Hunt Frog. I mean, I'm not really dissing anything on this frog, but I like how it is, but it just doesn't work really well. It's brown, uh, yellow, and white belly, free swinging legs that bounce. Um, the problem is, when you walk this, you're supposed to walk the dog, right? So, when you do that, the legs get caught in the water, and this ends up flipping over, and over, and over, and over, and it doesn't do anything, and the hookup ratio is wonderful, but just doesn't really get the job done. But this is a Lunker Hunt frog, and it's just cool, I guess. Next, we have a River to Sea Spitinwa frog. Um, actually, this isn't the Spitinwa because the Spitinwa would spit water. This is just a river sea bronze eyed frog, actually. And this is a like a marine colored, uh, army colored uh, green 
with yellow back, yellow, black, and green legs. And the hookup ratio for this is great for how little this is. It is wide gap for the fish able to eat it with a cool pattern on the bottom. This came out of my aunt's uh, husband's mystery tackle box, and he just gave it to me. I get lucky tackle box which I have not got a frog in yet, and I'm looking forward to. This is just a little cheap frog me and Ethan got both on the same day. Um, we wanted to see if it would work. Its hookup ratio is pretty good for how small it is, and it's just a different color, so we wanted to see how it worked. I've caught a couple frog, uh, fish on it, but that's about it. It's just a small frog we thought was cool. This is a Spro... Um, frog and has a shad pattern to it and a white belly with a pink mouth and I just like these because they look mean they look like they would get the job done the hooks are way different than any other and the ratio is great and different colored legs blue white and black and this definitely gets the job done this is a smaller version of this but this is even more different because I don't know if you guys can see but this is this frog sitting up, and this is this is the one I just showed you. This is the one I'm showing you now. The legs are on top of each other. One's down here, one's on top. These are spread apart like actual legs. That's why this one's different, and um, the hookup ratio is really good, but the back on this one is flat, while this one is not. So you might think these are the same frogs, but... They're really not, and I don't know if you can see, but you even can tell by the sides that, by the eyes and everything, that these are two different frogs, but they're both by Spro. Um, those would work on more bright days in the summer or anything like that. This is also the same thing as one of those, but just a different version. This is a Spro frog green yellow white with a different design on the body and brown and green legs hookup ratio is great and use this pretty much any day because it's a typical michigan frog and yeah these are one of my favorite frogs these work the best i one of the best i think um these are terminator frogs they have great hooks i think that's part of the reason Terminator really does their frogs well. I don't know what it is, but the fish really like them. It might be their appearance, but they're bigger, more bulgy frogs. White. This one's white with gray, gray legs, red eyes. Use this on a brighter day, and these really work well. I would really recommend getting the, these, and these are called the Terminator frogs. This is the same thing as that last one I just showed you, just brown, green, and yellow brown legs, red eyes, great hookup ratio, and it's just a really good frog to use any time of the year. And that's all I have to say about my frogs. These are my favorite boxes, and uh, I hope you enjoy what Ethan has to say about his few that he has with him right now. Hey guys, it's Ethan from Jawbreakers Fishing here, and today, as Christian said earlier in the video, I am going to be going over my few frogs that I have with me today because I left them at my dad's house. So, the first frog we have is a Booyah Pad Crasher. It is a Aqua Junior, I believe. I'm not too sure on that, but it has a blue and black back and a green like head and the be the belly of it. Excuse me, is white and the hookup ratio is great for this. It catches you with plenty of fish. So I'd really recommend using it. And the major like all these frogs that I got with me today would be used on a clear day. So it's like bright and sunny out and stuff. That's the days you want to use it. So the next frog I have with me is a Booyah Popper. The back is black and green and it's Sorry guys, it's supposed to resemble a commonly seen frog in Michigan, the bullfrog. And the belly is white and yellow, okay? And the 
Hookup ratio is great as well as all the other ones. And yeah, that's also supposed to be fish on a nice day. The next one I got is just a random cheap frog I got from Cabela's. It's the pattern on the has a red and white pattern on his back, green color. Has red eyes, white stomach, and the legs are orange and green. And the hookup ratio is good as well on this one. The next frog, I also got this from Cabela's. I'm not too sure what this is called, but it's white and pink, and the legs are yellow and orange. Hookup ratio is really good for this one, too. For the next one, this is a live target I picked up in Florida over spring break. The back is black and brown. The stomach is white, and the legs are black, yeah, black and brown as well. Um, yeah, for this one, it's supposed to be fished on, like, nice days, and, uh, yeah. Okay, for my last frog, this is a lunker hunt froglet. This is one of my favorite lures so far, frog-wise, because I've caught plenty of fish on it. It's supposed to resemble a younger frog of some sort. The back is green and black, stomach is white, and the hooking or the hook ratio, my bad guys, is really really good on this. So I recommend going and get you one of these. Thank you for watching our video, guys. Uh, we hope you enjoy it, just like the other video, as we got many views. We hope to get way more views. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, we have so many views, we just need more likes. We don't do it for money because we obviously don't make any money off of this. We just like doing the videos and it makes us really happy when you guys acknowledge that you either like it or I would hope not dislike it, but it would show us that we need to do better. Um, make sure to subscribe too. That would get us better views and um, yeah, we just would like for you to like, subscribe, comment. Do please comment. We need more ideas for videos. We're going to be doing more fishing soon as summer is approaching. But thank you for watching once again. And we hope you like this video. It's way longer than we expected. But this is the updated version of our boxes. And um, Ethan will hopefully have the rest of his life next time. And this is all. So thank you for watching. This is Christian signing out with Ethan. And this is Jawbreakers Fishing. Thank you.